You may have seen my other videos on getting mobile internet in your van, including how to do it pretty well for under £50. If not, you can check out my playlist on all things mobile Wi-Fi here or linked in the video notes. For a lot of people, a simple setup like that will work well, but if you're looking to work on the road or just want to be more confident that you're going to have as good a possible internet connection more of the time, then you may want to consider one of these. The Teltonica RUT955 Industrial LTE Router with dual SIM failover, Wi-Fi bridge, Ethernet and GPS. Stick with us to see what it can do, how it performs and why I think it could be the ultimate mobile internet solution for a reasonable cost. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. As internet access on the road is very important to us, we've looked at a lot of options. In this video, we'll start looking at enterprise solutions rather than simple off-the-shelf consumer solutions like a MiFi and external antenna. We've tried out two different ends of this market. In a future video, we'll talk about this CPE 4G router, which is low cost at sub £50 and very simple to use, but somewhat limited in functionality. But in this video, we'll look at what we would class as the flagship. This product from Teltonica is the RUT955, which retails at between £160 and £200 new, but you can often pick them up second hand for less than £100. The RUT955 usually comes with a set of mag mount, uh, LTE, Wi-Fi and GPS antennas. Um, however, we've decided to fit Teltonica's um, combo um, LTE, Wi-Fi and GPS unit. Once we had mounted the antenna on our pretty dirty roof, setting up the RUT955 is as simple as inserting the SIM card or cards. Yes, the RUT955 can take up to two mobile SIMs, you'll see why shortly, then connecting the antennas and the power. If you want to use the solution as a simple Wi-Fi gateway for 4G, that's it. You can pretty much get up and surfing. Before we look at its more advanced features, let's see if there's any real performance difference between this and a simple Wi-Fi. So here we have identical iPhone 10s. On the left, we're connected to the RUT955 and combo antenna, and on the right to the sub 50 pound ZTE router with Bingfu antenna from my earlier video. Both are connecting to the Smarty network on the same cell tower and LTE band. We're on the fringes of the cell, only showing a couple of bars on the signal meters, but as you can see, the RUT955 does appear to get a better download speed than the ZTE, but both do pretty well. Before I share more details about the things I love about it, briefly, what's so special about the RUT955 versus a portable MiFi? Well, in no particular order, and definitely not covering all of its capabilities, it's a highly reliable industrial router which is built to be robust. They survive in Dakar rally cars. It can be run at any voltage from 9 volt to 30 volt. It can take two different SIM cards from different networks and automatically pick the best one. It can connect to more distant Wi-Fi hotspots using its external Wi-Fi antenna and allow you to connect multiple devices to them in your van. It can automatically fail over from one connection type to another if a signal is dropped or speed is poor. As well as Wi-Fi connections, it has Ethernet ports for wired network connections. It can balance your internet traffic across multiple connected devices to maximise your speed and you can manage which of your connected devices or services take preference for the bandwidth you have. It includes tracking and geofencing using GPS services from Navstar, Galileo, GLONASS and Bidu satellite systems. It has digital and analogue inputs and outputs that can be configured to be able to connect to and manage other devices remotely. 
It can send alerts and receive instructions either via web or SMS. You can connect up to 100 devices over multiple access points and it allows you to network USB devices like printers and hard drives. Finally, it can be monitored and managed remotely. Before I go into a bit more detail, it's worth noting that although it's pretty easy to set up the basics, if you want to explore some of the more advanced features, you do probably need a little bit of experience or a willingness to learn about how networks work, or it could be a little bit daunting. The Teltonica manual is very good and their support pages and forum are great. If you want to benefit from the more advanced features, it's worth spending the time to set it up correctly. So let's look at how we have the RUT955 set up to work and some of the useful things it can do. We have our Smarty 3 SIM and a Voxy Vodafone SIM. If the signal from our Smarty SIM drops and the bandwidth goes down, it will automatically switch over to the Voxy to see if that is better. If we're somewhere we've got a Wi-Fi connection, we can connect the RUT to that. And if that bandwidth starts to drop, then it will automatically fail over to our Smarty SIM. The RUT95 can also be connected to both networks simultaneously, so we can have traffic going through both ways, split equally or at any ratio that you want, depending on the bandwidth of each connection. We have multiple access points set up on our RUT955. Now they can be work, kids, guest, main or whatever you want. Now why do we do this? It means that we can connect each device to the relevant access point. And that means we can prioritise those access points so we can make sure the devices that always need to have a signal can be prioritised over those that don't necessarily have to have as much bandwidth. This means we can be sure that an important Zoom meeting doesn't get interrupted because of streaming CBBs. We can also turn those multiple access points into hotspots. Now what are they? They're just a bit more advanced than an access point. It allows us to set restrictions on when that hotspot is live. So for the kids ones, for example, we can switch it off automatically at night. We can also, for our guest one, authenticate each user individually and set each user with different profiles. So we might want to give somebody one hour's access or throttle their connection to only 500 kilobits per second or give someone else totally unlimited access. With the built-in GPS the RUT955 supplements our tracker and you can also set uh, geofences to do exactly the same thing as a tracker would. The analog and digital inputs that the solution has enables us to connect other things into it and get alerts from it. So for example we have a mechanical thermostat that's connected to our digital input and we connect the analog input to our battery. This gives us the chance to get an alert when a certain temperature is reached which makes sure that we can make sure it's comfortable for our dog at all times and on our battery we can set certain levels of trigger that tell us what the voltage is. Don't worry, we've never let our battery get to 8.91 volts. This was during testing on a variable power supply. The SMS control feature lets you control various settings or query the status of the router just by sending a text. If the SMS control isn't quite enough for you, you can use Teltonica's remote management service. It is a subscription service, but it's about £10 for six months of access, but it lets you control the device over the internet as if you were there with it. Just for completeness, I want to briefly mention Teltonica's newer RUTX range. The RUTX 11 and X12 are the next generation to the RUT955 and have a similar feature set, but with newer technology. They introduce more modern CAT6 LTE bands, which may improve speeds on certain mobile networks in certain locations on 4G. And the X12 not only has two SIMs it can switch between, it can actually be connected to both of them simultaneously and therefore load balance your traffic across the two networks. Potentially, that's going to give you quite a lot of extra bandwidth. However, as these are currently priced between £300 and £400 for value for money, I'm very happy with the IUT955 at around half the price. But you may want to consider them, and I'm hoping to test out an RUT X12 soon.
I'm also really looking forward to Teltonica releasing a 5G capable dual SIM router, which for me would really make it worthwhile upgrading. But for now, taking into account performance, features and value for money, I do feel the RUT 955 is a fantastic mobile Wi-Fi solution if keeping connected is really important to you. If you think there is something else on the market that offers uh, a similar solution, please do drop me details in the comments and I will happily take a look at it. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.